Maddie Anhol in the show Diary of a Dating Addict. How are you today? Yeah, I'm alright, a bit windswept, but I'm alright. Yeah, right. <laughs> so tell us all about it. Okay, so mating and hating in a bid to find her Mr. Right. Um, and I'm a character comedian, so I play all of the men that I date. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh-huh, yeah, so um, it's, yeah, basically it's, it's a year of that, and then I um, sort of act out the dates, as it were. Oh. Do you have any like particular character you like to do the most? Uh, I have a character, um, so uh, there's a guy, a guy called Masonic, the, the bad man, the rude boy, <laughs> um, and he de- he's a development from uh, a character that I used to do, and I like really thought hard about when I, when I knew I was coming up here, um, and like made a choice to, to do male characters this time, because I did a debut show in 2013 and I played 16 women, uh, so this year I was like, yeah, what? It's a little challenge, like more of a challenge, we're going to play men, so he is a kind of translation of a female version female character that I had. of a journey as, as possible. Yeah. And um, how do you go about writing your material? Um, okay, so, well, it's sort of dependent, really. I mean, like I said, because I do characters, I um, I tend to have to speak out loud in the voice of the character, and then the material comes. Um, <laughs> so my housemate thinks I'm mental. Um, <laughs> so, like, you'll hear me in the preparation for a show just talking in the voice of that character, that man, and or the woman, whatever I'm playing, um, and then the material comes, and then sort of hardest bit I find is once the material is all written and then you've got to go back on it once you start previewing and doing work in progresses and you're like that did not work that was rubbish and then you've got to be your own editor which is like the very difficult bit for me to do is the show quite personal so is it quite based on your life or is it just yeah yeah. no it is like people um, who've come to see the show have said like is it autobiographical (laughs) I think to a certain extent it needs to be Um, but I lived with a girl who was uh, who did a lot of kind of internet dating and dated a lot of men and um, I, when I went on a couple of dates they were just awful and I was like do you know what they're so bad it's funny <laughs> so um, I started like a, one day I went on uh, a guy um, was really nervous it was like a Thursday night and he uh, he said oh do you want to do you want a drink and I was like no, no I'm like I want to wrap it up um, and then he went to the bar and he came back with six shots of tequila and I was like oh no 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 I'm not like I'm not drinking and he was like no I know and then he shot it all six and he was he was he said on his profile was six foot one he, he was not six foot one he was not six foot one it's like about here just quite a small guy could not take the drink and then left for about 25 minutes and I was like should I just go and came back and like had let's say stains down his front oh. then went outside and like vomited on the front and then went can I stay at your house because my mum will be angry if I'm drunk and I was like do you know what do you know what? This is <laughs> this is comedy cold right here. So that's how the kind of I know it must be great if there's a bad ex. You'd be like, you just gave me material. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. So the kind of premise of all of it is that, and also it talks a lot about you know women approaching thirty, especially well like in Edinburgh and London, in in the cities where everyone is just so busy. Like there's no time to get out there and meet. And like with the world of internet dating, it means you can immerse yourself more in meeting bigger pools of people but that's not necessarily a good thing so
man. If you find a partner, then great, but it's not the be-all and end-all. Well, thank you so much for talking with us no today. No problem, thanks for having me. Well, where do you catch us? Okay, so I'm on uh, the Gilded Balloon at 1.30 in the study, which is the one that's in the Pleasant Dome. Oh, okay. uh, it's the new venue uh, every single day except for the 17th. Thank you so much. Thank you. This has been Marvel TV.